People get ready, there's a train a-coming. I considered singing it, but uh, that would make it a very memorable event if I had sung that line. Uh, uh, I'm so glad you're all here today to, uh, uh, to, to, to break ground on this uh, exciting new venture. And all along we've had a vision for, for multimodal transportation system here, transit system in Grand Rapids. Well, this, this advances that goal uh, wonderfully. It's very clear that an effective and efficient uh, intermodal transit system is vital to economic development and a vibrant urban environment. This new station is another key installment and an investment in that future vitality, uh, the vitality of our city, our greater community, and yes, even our region. This was a, a, a long time dream. It was meant to be impossible. Um, everybody said you would never be able to pull it off, but Vern, you made it happen, and we got we worked with Therese Cody and the state to get the the funds to the state out of the Federal Railway Administration to complete this project, um, and and it's now happening. The dream is happening. Hats off to um, Mr. Varga who uh, kept after me and said we have to apply for this and we want to do this and you know we're going to back this and this is our vision and uh, him his relationship with the congressman and the people on his team here in Grand Rapids have definitely um, brought in brought in the funding to give Grand Rapids what it really deserves and that's a, a facility for the patronage of the Pier Marquette. We bring the service here in partnership with the Michigan DOT. It's a, been a fantastic partnership and through that partnership we're going to keep bringing you better trains, faster trains, trains with Wi-Fi, trains that are more comfortable uh, and we're glad to do it. We're America's Railroad and uh, we couldn't do it without your support. Uh, so again, congratulations today. We're so glad to be here. Years ago when we moved here, I went onto the Amtrak station and looked it around and I said, Where, where's the bus station? Why isn't it right here? And I thought it made sense to move the bus station down there, or the bus center down there. Uh, Peter Varga, of course, always takes the hard course. Instead of moving the building, he decided to move the train. <laughs> It takes a lot of energy and a lot of power, uh, but I, I can't say enough good about Peter Varga. He has done a fantastic job here. He's won national recognition for himself and for the city. And as I commented the other day to another group, uh, for years, everyone has been saying, well, if you want to find out about transit, you have to go to Oregon. Uh, I said, uh, it's time we reverse that and people start saying, if you want to learn about transit, come to Grand Rapids. At any rate, it's uh, thank you very much to Peter and all the members of the board, everyone who worked on this. It is indeed a great honor to have this named after me. I, I uh, have believed for many, many years that uh, although the automobile was a wonderful invention, uh, it's, it's become too good and people are driving it too much and there's too much uh, energy going into moving those vehicles around instead of moving people around. And the way to do it is through public transit if you really want to save energy.